In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble the walking Bob escapement. All the files can be purchased from jbvcreative.com. If you haven't yet, get those files printed. You will need some additional parts. The full parts list is included in the download package and you will need a hammer and a screwdriver to assemble this thing. Just as a quick note, this is what your base piece is gonna look like. It has the post on the right side for the pulley. And on that note, let's add the pulley and then use a C-clamp to hold that into place. Now we're gonna start adding some bearings to the parts. So press the bearings in a little bit and use your hammer to hammer them in. You don't have to hammer them too hard, just a light tap will get them in there. Add another bearing to the bottom hole on the trigger and one bearing to the center of the base and then one bearing into the pendulum. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through this hole and that will screw into the pendulum extension for the base. Don't screw it in all the way. Grab your other screw, screw that one in. You can screw that in all the way and then go back to the first screw and tighten it until it's tight. Next with another M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through one of the holes in the escapement wheel. Grab your spool and with the thick side facing the escapement wheel, you can screw that all the way in. and then add the other two screws, screw those all the way in as well. Next, grab your string, tie a knot on the end of the string, take the unknotted side and slide it through the hole in the spool, push it all the way through and then pull it, make sure that the knot doesn't come out. You can wrap the string around the spool just so it's out of the way. Next, grab an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through the back of the base followed by two washers, and then that screws into the hole in the center of the spool. Once it's all the way tightened, give it a spin to make sure that it's spinning freely. Looks good. Next, grab this paddle. This goes onto the trigger in this orientation. Use two C-clamps to hold that in place. Then using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw with two washers on the end of it, that will screw into the hole in the lower part of the base. And make sure that it drops just like this. Next, grab your pendulum and the little seat thing goes onto the pendulum. Add two C-clamps and then grab an M4 by 12 millimeter screw and get it all the way in. Using your screwdriver, hold that in place. Add two washers to the end of that. And then that screws onto the pendulum extension. Make sure everything is swinging freely. All right, let's assemble Bob. Start with an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes through one of the spacers and that screws into the hole in the side of Bob. Then repeat that on the other side, M4 by 12 millimeter screw, spacer, screw it all the way in. The neck just press fits into the hole in the top of Bob's body, push it all the way down and then do the same thing with the head on the top of the neck. Bob is now ready to work. Grab your fillable weight and fill it with some weight. Anything goes here, just stuff that's heavy enough to give it a little bit of mass. Could be extra hardware, ball bearings, extra bearings, and cap the end of it off. Tie the free end of the string through the top hole in the fillable weight, and then knot it so it's secure. Next, we're going to assemble the pendulum. So let's start with the adjuster piece that screws onto the end of the fully threaded rod. Drop the weight on and then an adapter piece on the other end of that. Add the extension piece. And then screw the other adapter on top of that. And then screw it onto the escapement and we're ready to go to the wall. Line up your wall mounting guide in whatever position that you want and make sure that it's perfectly straight using a level. Then mark the holes with a pen or a marker. Using whichever wall mounting method that you want, Screw the wall anchors into the wall. Here I just have pre-drilled holes and I'm screwing directly into the drywall and it's strong enough to hold the escapement up. Make sure that the wall anchors are super tight and then screw the wall post directly onto the anchors. Slide the escapement onto the posts, push it all the way in and then using four C-clamps secure it in place. Pop Bob onto this rung and then give the pendulum a swing and it should be working. 
To rewind the escapement, just remove Bob from his position, flip the trigger into this position so the escapement wheel is completely free, and then just rotate the escapement wheel until the weight's all the way up, replace the trigger, put Bob back into position, and you're good to go. If there's too much weight in the weight, you'll notice Bob might pop off at this point in the motion. To fix that, just remove some of the weight. If there's not enough weight, you'll notice that the escaping wheel does not pull Bob back up. But with the right amount of weight, you'll get this motion. Every time Bob comes down, the escaping wheel pulls him back up. Enjoy.